What's going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by. They are here. The parts. They're here that I ordered for the H2 that I've been waiting for. Yay! In part one of this video, I'm installing some ceramic bearings on my H2. Uh, everything was going well until I got to a point where I needed to reinstall the rear sprocket back onto the coupling housing and realized that I had two stripped bolts. So I had to order replacements for those and I decided to order a couple other extra things. So now that I have all the parts that I ordered, I can go ahead and complete this project, get the H2 back up and running again, and hopefully I don't have any more issues and have to order any more parts. Let's go. Where I ended up stopping on the last video was because of these bolts. Uh, there are five of them. These bolts hold on the sprocket. That's 44, holy fuck. I was scared for a second. Oh God, yes. All right, now it's time to start putting this thing back in. Hopefully it goes in as smoothly as it came out. Just like I wanted, I, there's a line up here on the top and when I took it out, that line was on the top here. So I'm gonna slide it back in the exact same way. And then reading through the manual, there was a paint mark uh, here. And I need to make sure that I install the coupling. I don't know if you can see that paint mark right there. Uh, I just put it, I made it a little bit darker, but the, the paint mark, that line, uh, and a line on the coupling need to all match up. Here is the paint mark that I just made a little bit brighter on the coupling. So I need to make sure that they are all lined up correctly. But before I do any of that, I gotta make sure I put this back in. This little guy goes right in here. Okay. There it goes. Let's go ahead and install the axle. Uh, not forgetting this piece here, it should fit in there just like this. And then the shaft will slide in this way. Just like that. Now that the axle's in, I can go ahead and start reinstalling the caliper mount, which is gonna go right here. All right, there. Very nice. And then I've got that snap ring. Oh, there it goes. Nice and tight. Damn, that thing snaps in there really good. So now that the caliper mount is in place, go ahead and put the disc back on and that'll just shimmy right into place. There we go. So it's nice and flush. And then lastly, we got our axle nut. Now, this is probably gonna be the hard part. This thing has gotta get torqued down to 184 foot-pounds, I believe. And I gotta be able to stick a cotter pin through one of these holes. So getting this thing lined up the right way is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this thing kind of snug first. Oh, I have a feeling it's just gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, I think I'm ready for the first, first torque. So this is a two-stage torquing. It's gotta go to 162 foot-pounds and then 186 foot-pounds. Whoa, okay, cool. Not too bad. Now it's time for Torque number two, which is 184 foot-pounds. Here we go. Wow, there he goes. That's it. Damn, that's tight. Ah, oh, shit. But just like I thought, I can't put a cotter pin in here. Oh, I'm gonna loosen it just a tad. Oh my God, that hurts. 
Oh, perfect. Awesome. Got that hole lined up. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice your body to make shit work. This cutter pin goes in here. Uh, that's just to keep the, the axle nut from, from moving around. Uh, I've read on some of the forums that every once in a while people have issues where the axle nut comes loose uh, and uh, it starts to wiggle and you can take the wheel and like literally do this. I don't know if that's because the older ones don't have this cutter pin, uh, but the new ones definitely do and I want to make sure that it gets in there and uh, does its job. Cool. That thing's not going anywhere. The next step in this whole thing is getting the caliper back on. Pretty easy stuff. Got two caliper bolts. So now before I go ahead and put the wheel on, which is right over there, I, um, I'm just gonna walk myself through everything that I've done to make sure that all the parts are back in because I have been known to forget parts and have to go back and do things again. I try not to do that, but every once in a while it does happen. I'm human and I'm not gonna make mistakes, so. Uh, let's just make sure that we didn't get anything wrong. The housing that's in here has one new bearing, two new oil seals, two new snap rings. There's that collar in between. This coupling has one new bearing, one new oil seal, one new snap ring. All three points were lined up the way they were supposed to uh, with the dotted painted lines. The shaft is in. There's two washers. There's the washer on the outside and this little plate washer thing on the inside. These bolts were torqued down to 44 foot pounds in a star pattern, so that's fine. We've got the caliper mount in place with the snap ring. Caliper is torqued down to 18 foot pounds. The rotor's in place, and there is a collar in between that's supposed to be there. This plate is here. That goes behind the wheel, and then this nut is torqued down to 164 foot-pounds, then 184 foot-pounds, and it's got a cotter pin in it so it doesn't come out, and I think we're good to go to put the wheel on. There we go. <laughs> Man, that's a tight squeeze. Get in there. All right, everything's buttoned up. I think everything is fine. Time to go for a little test ride. So far, I think this thing is good. I'm pretty fucking happy with it. I, I don't have any complaints right now. I'll, uh, I'll check the torques again on the, on the wheels once I get back, but I'm fairly certain that everything else is good. I think we're good. Woo. Damn, you got a little squirrely there. Just a little bit. bike anyways that is all i've got for now thank you so much for stopping by and supporting the channel be safe out there and i'll see you all next time